Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, peaceful, tranquil weekend. My name is Sean Farrell. This is the Sean Farrell Podcast. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. And let's not wait. There's no time, shall we? Let's get right into it. <clears throat> um, How to cope with suicidal thoughts. Um... First thing you want to do is prioritize safety. Remove any dangerous objects and find a safe place. Most often this may be your bed like it is for me. Um, for those of you who watch my channel regularly, I'm at risk of suicide every day. Um, being a person who attempted to end their life, um, I do have dangerous objects um like um what's one of those um the um long lighters the long lighters where you light can handles with the um say the um say hey lighters yeah that's what it's called safe lighters um you know um i used to say a lighter to light, light candles for when i'm meditating but you know that's considered a uh, dangerous dangerous object um you want to call a crisis line um especially this is especially important if you're considering ending your life or attempting this will help you to get unstuck from painful intrusive negative thoughts that go on in your head so you can call 988 um the original suicide prevention number is still available. 800-237-2444. Um, 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 is the number. Find a anchor. Find an anchor for this period. Um, that is, if you find something that keeps you grounded, it makes you feel safe and motivates you to live. This may be listening to your favorite band, holding a stuffed toy, being next to a loved one, envisioning a future goal slash event, a milestone you want to hold on for, or repeating a compliment someone once gave you. I know um, there is something that happened in my eye life, um, a big blessing that happened in my eye life. Um, You know that's kind of a um, anchor for me um, but for me this would be you know find an anchor for it his period is just mentioned like stuffed toy be next to loved one for me it's um meditation um, instrumental music um, classical music um, lifting weights um, talking to my girl girlfriend um, talking to friends you know so yeah don't try to figure out your whole future oh I'm guilty of this several times. I've been guilty of this several times. I'm trying to figure out your whole future, okay? I've been guilty of this. I can just be he for myself. I don't know, excuse me, don't know how many people who are watching this are, um, have been guilty of this trying to figure out the whole future, but I've been guilty of this several times. Um, you don't have to solve everything all at once. In fact, if you try to do this, it will lead you to feel more overwhelming, feeling more discouraged. So, how many times have you came into work Monday morning and you're already thinking what it is what is what is going to be like come um, Friday morning? 
No. Um, you will wake up one day and you're thinking about, well, what are the next, what is the next year going to be you like? Then if things don't go your way, um, overwhelmed, discouraged, um, depression, um, and in some home cases, it can lead to a future that you can't envision yourself living in, which is one of the warning signs are things that can lead to ending your life by suicide, not envisioning a future you want to live in. Um, reach out to a loved of one. This will help you feel less alone, more comfort, more comfort, and help you feel less stuck in your head. Um, if you don't have a loved one to reach out to, visualize your idol slash role model, someone who inspires you. What would you say to uplift, empower, or motivate you in this moment? Um, right now, um, I want to say I have idols, role models, but um, the fact that um, that Pre Escott speaks about mental health, um, Charles Haley, former Dallas Cowboy, he speaks about mental health. Um, Hayden Hurst, Solomon Thomas. As a matter of fact, I just watched a um, mental health conversation on um, AFSP that featured Solomon Thomas and Dak Prescott. They were talking about mental health, men's mental health, and uh, all that. Um, you can find it on um, YouTube. It's very, very, very good. Um, recognize that you don't want to end your life. You want to end a part of your life and experience you're having in it, a moment of it, problem you're facing, a negative situation. So you want to end that financial situation you're in. You want to end um, the pain of uh, pain of being in a divorce. You want to in this painful moment that you're in right now. Um, so yeah. Um, untreated oppression. Untreated oppression was why I wanted to end my life. But, um, I would say pressure, expectations, and um, led me to attempt to end my life and um, this is suicide prevention month and um, let's just talk, talk about how the, it's more you know, talk saves lives and um, not only does talk save saves lives walking saves lives what do you mean by that it mean, what I mean by that is I will be walking again this year um, in the AFSP walk against suicide, I will be at the one here in Memphis. I will be going to that one, and I will also be going to the one in Nashville again, as I did last year. So, um, and both of those, and both of those are both in October. So I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. Um. So I'm going to be doing a lot of travel in um, October 
and um, a little bit of traveling in November as well. So I'm gonna be one busy bee. But um, yeah, so reach out to who will love of one. If you don't have a loved one to reach out to, visualize your idol, role model, someone who inspires you. Recognize that you don't want to end your life. Um, call a crisis line. Find an anchor for this period. And don't try to figure out your whole future. That's been the thing I've been most guilty of. So, all right. I think I've said everything that I've wanted to say. Um, God bless all of you all. Um, Shout out to my subscribers. May God bless you all. Happy NFL Sunday to everybody out there. And um, I'm going to get back to um, watching NFL NFL for football. Um, if not, I, all, I already have been. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God bless y'all. <laughs> God bless y'all. Peace. I'm out.